Mojo, I want to start with you. These photos were taken for your radio show. She was competing in this contest that you've been doing for a number of years called Stripper 101. Right. You were right there when the photos were taken back in 2007. What exactly is going on in these photos? You know, basically these are just photos. We have a group of women that all win a contest to learn how to strip from professional strippers, AJ. And these women are up on a, a dance floor at a strip club uh, dancing. And, you know, Rima just happens to be one of those people. And, uh, you know, I think people are making a bigger deal out of these photos than they're, than they're worth. But we have gotten phone calls um, from people from the, uh, the, the Miss USA and, and Miss Universe uh, pageant asking about the photos and asking if there are more photos that are out there. Well, yeah, what exactly did the Miss USA people want to know when they called you up? Just about the photos. Are these the only photos? Um, are there more photos? Can we have those photos? Um, you know, we've had a relationship with Rima for a while. We actually had her on uh, our air last week uh, to promote the, the show last night. And, you know, I think that the, the deal is that, you know, last year there was such a craziness over Carrie Prejean, and I think people are trying to make a bigger deal out of this. Um, I think this, the, the photos obviously are very sexy, but she's a very sexy person. The contest was to come out, learn how to dance like a stripper. She was the best contestant that was there. But these are, you know, three, what, four years ago, three years ago. She was 21 years old at the time. Right. I mean, I, I don't think that she uh, at the time maybe had aspirations of being Miss USA. Yeah, and if she had aspirations of being a stripper, well, you know, actually she did pretty well in that contest looking at those photos. And She's they good. certainly they certainly are provocative, but unlike Carrie Prejean, who you mentioned from last year's scandal, she didn't have all of her clothes on or her clothes were kind of falling off. And let's not forget that just last week, the Miss USA pageant was right in the middle of a controversy because of these racy photos that they and, took of all the contestants posing and preening just like Victoria's Secret models. Now, take a look at Miss Michigan's pageant approved photo versus her 2007 stripper photo. And Megan, I'm thinking that the photo that the pageant took is a whole lot racier than the stripper photo. Well, and Mocha just said something very interesting. He said she may never have had aspirations to be Miss USA. My thought is, why not, though? That is a time for young people that are watching the show, especially young girls, to go, wait a minute. When you make a choice, there is a consequence for choices that you make. And therefore, maybe she should have thought that she is worth it and that she can go and uh, be, some, some, be somebody aspiring, if you will. I'm not, I'm not dissing the contest, but I'm saying it's okay to strive for the best in life. And therefore, maybe you don't have to do a contest like that. Hey, hey, Jay, go about it a different way. If yeah, I yeah. can just mention, mention something real quick. This is, this is actually a class that we teach on how to learn learn how to strip and it's to you know entice women to come on out so they can have fun with their uh, significant others um, there are doctors there are lawyers we've had judges we've had school teachers that have entered this class it just so happens that this is a 21 year old girl that entered this class yeah and, and I don't think that what she did was anything wrong I think that now people are going to look at it differently because she's Miss USA. Well, and that's exactly the case. And I think that's what Megan was talking about, Mojo, that sometimes people have to take into account, especially in this age of technology and the fact that if you get taken, if a photo gets taken of you doing anything anywhere, there's a good chance that people are going to see it at some point and it even could be used against you. And I think that may be what is potentially going on here. But will it matter is, is kind of the question. Showbiz and I did reach out to the Miss USA folks today. They didn't have anything to say about this. No comment. Donald Trump, who owns the pageant also no comment now we all remember as i mentioned the carrie prejean scandal last year with her racy photos that surface mojo the thing is you put these photos online to celebrate her big win you've been a fan of hers she's a right. part of your radio show and now she's miss usa are you at all concerned this actually could backfire on her well i'll be honest they've been on our website since 2007 and we got contacted uh this morning by uh one of the the big gossip uh, uh blogs that said, hey, we got these photos, we're gonna go with it. We put them back on our site once that happened and put on a press release based upon what these guys were gonna run with. I'll tell you this, the, the, these photos are from 2007. They've been on our site for a while. Uh, Rima's been on our show numerous times from, uh, from 2007 until now. And I, I think that we should respect the fact that here we have a, uh, an Arab American woman who is the first to become Miss USA. And I think in this day and age, we should celebrate that instead of looking at these photos and saying that uh, she's too sexy for Miss USA. Well, Megan, especially given how sexy the Miss USA pageant has really become, do you think that 
these photos actually could realistically get the new Miss USA in hot water or probably not. And you're a former Miss USA judge. I think the Miss Universe organization is in a bit of a dilemma right now because of those contestant photos. Very sexy, very racy, very seductive. So in the past, AJ, a couple years ago, yeah, I think she could be in hot water. But the Miss USA pageant has a bit of a problem now yeah. because they were endorsing sexy photos. And again, I'm just saying think twice about what you do. Sure. That, that's all I'm saying here is, is set those goals in life about what you want to aspire to and think twice because with the internet nowadays photos can pop up anywhere. No